Smith. Welcome back to the show. You'll recognize my next guest because she's she's on Rogers TV for three hours, Monday to Friday, and of course, also on City News. You can catch it on 101.1 FM and 1310 AM. The host of the Sam LaPrade Show joining me. Sam, how are you? I'm fantastic. It's I great to have you here. here. I know, isn't it nice to be back in studio? We, we see you at your studio at the station. I mean, there's been, a, there's been some great changes that happened at, at mm -hmm. City News for both yourself and, and Rob Snow and, of course, David Smith and our, yeah. our entire crew there. But let's talk about your show in particular, Sam, sure. and, and the time change and mm -hmm. what the new format's been like. Well, it's been fantastic because, of course, now you can wake up with Rob Snow, which is great. Uh, so you're waking up with him. And then David Smith does that great talk back hour. Yeah. And listeners really love that opportunity. They want to talk. Yeah, right? So course. they call David. And I think there was the fear of that, right? Mm -hmm. When Rob moved to 6 to 9, oh, my goodness, are we still going to have a chance mm -hmm. to, to share our opinions? And the great thing is Rob can do that three hours, and then you've got all those topics, right, that Absolutely. are ready to go, and David picks and chooses a couple yeah. of those topics and then opens up to, to the listeners. And he does a great job, and then I uh, swoop in there at 10 o'clock. As soon as he gets out of that studio, I'm yeah. right in there. Um, so I'm uh, on there every day from uh, 10 a.m. to 1. But we do things a little bit differently. Yeah. From 10 to noon, uh, we're kind of doing the same Sam LaPrade show. So you can get everything from politics, you can get human interest stories, uh, we'll talk about uh, special events that are happening. It's really kind of everybody, and profiling a lot of high-profile people yeah, as well. Yeah. And then at noon, we do lunch with Sam. I love that. Or when you fill in, lunch with Derek. Right, right. And what we do there is we bring and we feast on those news stories of the day. So today, for instance, we're talking about LRT. I know that probably Shocking, doesn't surprise you. Shocking, really? Uh, we're talking about <laughs> budget, you know, province. So we had Larry O'Brien on and Diane Deans, of course, very familiar names here in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. From 12.30 to 1, we scoop in with the business lunch. Right. And the business lunch is a chance to profile, obviously, uh, those small businesses, but it's also a chance to talk to CEOs of multi-billion dollar companies. Right, so right. it's really everything in between. And Su Ling Ching comes on, of, co of course, from the Ottawa Board yeah. of Trade, Michael Kern from the Ottawa Business Journal. So it's a great chance to, to just talk all things business. Yeah, I heard you had a friend of the show, Debbie Trenholm, was we on with Debbie. you, right? During yes. the, the business uh, portion of the show. Yeah, a little, yeah. little, little wine, little yeah. beer and ciders and yeah. cheese. I mean, they've exactly. expanded greatly. I know something that you're incredibly passionate about, and, and oftentimes when you have to step away from radio mm -hmm. is because of the great work that you do helping nonprofits mm -hmm. and, and charities. So, the Snowsuit Fund 5050 uh, that Rogers as a team is, mm -hmm. is helping uh, must be right in your wheelhouse. You must yeah. be so proud to be part of that. Well, thing. I am because I think it, it does a couple of different things. It adds a little excitement yeah. um, in terms of 5050. Our winner last year, if you can believe it, took over, over $400,000 home. Unbelievable. $407,000. Yeah. So the jackpot keeps growing every single day. But what warms my heart is the fact kids are going to be warm this winter. Yeah. Over 16,000 um, kids will get a snowsuit this particular year. Um, and I just... 16,000 seems like a really big number. It does. But I just picture one kid. Mm. When I buy my tickets, I think about the one kid yeah. that needs a snowsuit. So you can get those tickets. Uh, you can, uh, I don't know if you've done it yet, but you can um, uh, send a message uh, to, to 555555 yep. and just text the word money. You Simple get a as link. That. Get there a link. You Easy peasy. Uh, you can go online too uh, to uh, snow, the Snowsuit Fund 5050. Mm -hmm. And it climbs every day, right? Yes. As you said. Yes. So do, do we know what the number was earlier I, today? I think it was a, close to, to 90,000. Okay. Yeah. So we're working. We're getting yeah. there. That would be take home. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Um, so we're at this point, really, it's hysterical because every single day, Amanda Young, you know, our, our promo person, sees me in the hallway and she's like, this is where it's at today. <laughs> so it's climbing every single day. And we see those bumps after we've had conversations like this and I love to think that people not only want to obviously pack their wallet with cash come the new year but it's about the kids and it's about you know you remember what it was like to put those snow suits oh, on and well back yeah. in my day that looked like the Michelin man yeah uh, they're, they're a lot more streamlined <laughs> now um, but just knowing that uh, when you drive by a schoolyard what's beautiful about it Derek that the snowsuit fund does is that you can't tell that's a snowsuit that's fun right. snowsuit. Yeah. These are snowsuits, so they bring kids in. What color do you like? Pink? Perfect, we have pink for you. It's not a snowsuit fun snowsuit where kids are identified. Yeah. Everybody on the playground is equal. You mentioned, you know, some of the hot topics that you've been talking about lately. Yeah. You've had a lot of, well, you mentioned Larry O'Brien yes. and Diane Deans. You've had former city councillors on, mm -hmm. former for, former mayors, LRT, and, mm -hmm. you know, obviously at, at the top of everyone's mind. What about the sense that you're getting from those guests of, you know, this new mayor in Mark Sutcliffe mm. and, and the new and the new council? 
What, yeah. what, what, what's the what's the feeling like right now? There's a lot of hope. Good. I have to okay. say. So here's how I see it. I have a lot of hope too. Obviously, yeah. I you know Mark uh, Suckliff and I have known each other for probably 30 years. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to be a great mayor. What I do worry about is that moment that something happens, and I don't want the city and all residents. If something happens, a new mayor makes a mistake, a new council makes a mistake, that we don't all throw the the tea in and say it's all over. Right. Right. We have to give everybody <laughs> a bit of grace. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're speaking from the same area then because, yeah. you know, that's what I think um, we often see on, on social media and I would mm -hmm. encourage people to step away from it a oh, little yes. bit because it's, it, you know, uh, what, what was the number I heard was something like 15% of the city of Ottawa is on social media, right. on Twitter in, in, in mm -hmm. particular. Uh, let's remind everybody, first of all, when the Sam LaPrade show is on, both, of course, here on Rogers TV and on City well, News. Well, you tune in and my mom tunes in between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. <laughs> There's has, lots you guys just had great numbers. I know, so I know, I know. Numbers. I'm joking because she wanted to say hello to you. Oh, nice. Yes, Your yes. mom is so, wonderful. Uh, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And uh, and I'm on every day. And, of course, an hour to give Saturdays and Sundays between yes. 8 and 9. Yeah, and if, and if you're not aren't not familiar with that, it's a great opportunity to learn about some of the great charities and nonprofits mm -hmm. here in our community. Another reminder, too, you wake up with Rob Snow from 6 to 9. Mm -hmm. You got David Smith with the Talk Back Hour from 9 to 10. And then you tune in to Sam. And, of course, you can watch it right here on Rogers TV each and every day. We'll be back with more right after this.